So I wasn't totally sure how best to collaborate with these amazing Tuvan musicians because I didn't want to just write out a bunch of music and put them into a box because obviously they have these musical traditions and musical language that's natively their own and which is just beautiful and anything that I did to try to shoehorn it into what I was doing and where I was coming from I think was going to ultimately stifle it. It was going to hold it back in, the, in terms of its full potential. So in talking with their uh, with them uh, over the last year and change, the question was, well, what if I just kind of jammed with them, where I would plant the seeds at the piano of a, an idea and then just let them play? And then later, I will build the orchestra up around that so that so much of the DNA of the score comes where the spine of it is the Alash Ensemble and not the other way around. I didn't want them to be like this coat of paint over the rest of the score that is otherwise, you know, traditional orchestra or something like that. I wanted it to be the other way around. Let the orchestra be like a shirt or a sweater that I wrap around the the spine that is these amazing musicians from Tuva, the, the Alash Ensemble. <laughs>
That was nice. That was nice. <laughs> Be louder. Yeah, like aggressive. Go to one forty. Awesome. I could do this every day. <laughs> are these are these sort of word word esque sounds or is this actual text that's <clears throat> translatable to something? So what what are what is it? <laughs> Perfect. No bad things are ever made in the San Fernando Valley. <laughs> 